let's see here. We got, we got the Taco Bell. We got the Chili's. Oh, I know what I want. Yes. 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 It's the in and out. All right, I'm taking the rolls to in and out. It's gonna happen. We're doing it. Oh yeah. Double, 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 double. Hey, uh, I want to get a three by three uh, grilled onions protein style. Gotcha. And a chocolate shake. Alrighty. And that's it. Uh, in the car. Alrighty. That is cool. Thanks. So for those of you who have not been to uh, in and out before, when you're ordering at the drive-thru, they'll ask you if you want it to go or in the car. To go, well, they wrap it up, put in a bag. In the car, they put it in a box with a bunch of napkins. Because you're going to need them. <laughs> Adjusted my tray table, just so. All right, all right. Now, some of you are gonna comment that it's odd that I got the protein style, which is without the bun. You can do that, but then I got a chocolate shake. Well, I do weird stuff like that because you gotta try to put your calories where you want them. So by giving up the fries and the bun, I'm going for the shake. That's gonna be my, my carbs, which is a lot more. But you know, doing it all at one time is just too much for me. So, fantastic. Anyway, so one of the things we're gonna talk about, while well, I thought I'd bring you along on my dinner. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So, in one of my previous videos, a few weeks ago, I replaced the entire amplifier right under my butt, under the seat, because the amp was clipping, or the audio was clipping, and I thought my amplifier was bad. Well, turns out it wasn't the amplifier. Mmm. That is so good. For those of you around the world who haven't had the In-N-Out Burger, I have them here in Texas. But they're mostly in LA, Las Vegas, Phoenix, out on the West Coast. And um, they kind of have a cult-like following. Mm. Anyway, Turns out, why oh, is this so messy? So anyway, turns out the problem wasn't my amplifier. It was the MAP DVD that's also under my butt. There's a DVD player or reader under here, which you put the MAP in. Well, the CD that I had gotten to replace the 2003 MAP that was in there was one that was on eBay. Clearly it was a pirate version. The guy had made it. I had put it in there, uh, you know, unbeknownst to me. Well, the problem was, is every time it was, it would, it would kept crashing it basically. And every time it would reset the map, it would like 
trip out the audio. I figured this out because even after I replaced the amp, it was still doing it. And then I noticed on the map, it would reset and reboot. Every time it did that, it cut the audio. The audio came back on. Well, I took the DVD out of the thing. That solved the problem. So I tore the whole car apart and replaced the amp for nothing. <laughs> So stupid. And my, my little escapade doing the donuts. Well, looks like I ruined another DSP module. It controls the traction control, ride height, the assisted steering, a whole bunch of stuff. So the whole dash is lit up like a Christmas tree right now. So I had this dude that specializes in BMWs bring out a scan tool computer. He said it was worth about $20,000 and determined that it was probably this module, probably about 600 bucks for the part. I'm gonna get it replaced how quiet this thing is. This thing is running. It's absolutely dead silent back here. I'm sure for the sound of me eating. If I was wearing a microphone, this could be one of those ASMR videos. There's like the video of that woman eating pickles. It has millions of views. It's disgusting. What the hell is wrong with people? Gonna watch and listen some chick eating pickles. This is so messy. Oh my God, what a mess. How undignified of me. Well, Hoovy took his rolls to Taco Bell. I'm taking mine to In-N-Out. Mm, wow. I was, oh, I forgot I had a shake. What a bonus. I keep water in here. Just have a guest who wants to ride. And, you know. Mm. Ah. That is so good. Wow. So like, what does California do? For milkshakes with a straw. Like, didn't they ban straws? How do you, you can't drink a milkshake with a paper straw. What I don't get is like, they're banning the straws, but not the plastic lids or the cups or all the other stuff. Like one turtle got a straw in his nose. Maybe the turtle was like a coke head and he really liked cocaine. You ever think of that? Poor turtle needs rehab, not banning straws. Hey, I want to let my subs know that uh, I'm now on TikTok. Search for Video Bob on TikTok. I post cool little stuff around the shop, little 15 second videos of things that we're working on, things you might like. Calm down, boys. I'm married. I can't believe how silent this thing is sitting back here. I rarely ever come back here. I'm always driving. And you cannot hear anything. I can't hear the highway. I can't hear the motor. I don't hear the fans running. I don't hear the air conditioner. I don't hear anything at all. I don't feel any vibration. It says it's running. The tack's running. How they do that? Like, that's what makes this car the Rolls Royce. It's like, it's completely climate controlled in here. It's completely silent. I'm totally comfortable right now. And I can't hear anything at all. You're damn right I just did that. Uh, oh.
Mm. So, so good. Anyway, this was the culprit. This CD, this DVD rather, which is a pirate burned copy that I bought, unbeknownst to me, off of eBay, uh, was messing, you know, the DVD player couldn't read it properly. It was crashing the system and making the audio skip. So if you have a BMW iDrive system, whether or not you're in a Rolls Royce or BMW, and you're having the same kind of audio problem, could be your DVD, even if it's the factory DVD, uh, could be that that's the reason, because when I took it out, it stopped doing it. So what I did was I put my original DVD back in that came with the car from 2003. Of course, the maps are all way out of date, but quite frankly, the GPS in this thing is so lame. I just use my iPhone anyway. So I don't really use the maps on here. Uh, the infotainment in this thing back in 2004 wasn't too great. It was pretty impressive back then, but we've really only enjoyed the GPSs that we've come to know and love really in the last five to 10 years. Things have really gotten really good because the ones before that weren't that great. I remember I had a Garmin GPS that was made for the car back about maybe 99 or 2000 and it was uh it wasn't color it was like orange it was huge and it was terrible quality it was about a thousand dollars but people were really impressed with it when they saw it so we've come a long way i'm gonna go put this over here in the trash but it doesn't look come on guys really Yeah, the car is just totally silent. It's running. And um, pretty dark out here. But you gotta get like right up. There you go. Get right in there. In here. I could put my seat back in its original position by hitting the memory everything will go back the way it was this is the little DVD thing I was talking about so inside there is where the DVD ROM goes that runs the maps navigation system under the seat so uh, that was my little trip to in and out and um, talking about the DVD and uh, thought I'd also share this with you you know there's a remote that goes to the lights in the back I can dim them I can change the colors different colors um, I can make them let's see make them fade in and out do different things I like to just put them on uh, white let's see yeah, the dim white I like, the soft white. And uh, you can turn them off if you want to. <clears throat> but cute little feature uh, of the Rolls Royce, an option. Very cool. Um, anyway, I hope you had fun. This is kind of a short video. And uh, wanted to kind of, oh, I wanted to bring up something. And for those of you who watch all the way to the end, like right now, you know, um, on my last video, um, and I hope it wasn't any noise coming out of the vent here. I'll have to check it. That's the sound of me turning the vent off. Uh, I was talking about the, um, the hood clips and things, and I must have got 10,000 comments of people saying, why don't you just 3D print the clips? Listen, you cannot 3D print those kind of clips. Now, I know people are going to argue with me. But 3D printing technology, at least for the regular desktop stuff, just isn't there yet. Maybe you can, but when it comes to things that are designed for the purpose of being under pressure, all the 3D printed stuff I've seen, you can just like break it and crush it. Now maybe there's a special process for bonding it, and maybe it's possible, 
but you'd have to have a perfect one to begin with. You'd have to CAD it. You'd have to design it. You have to print it. By the time I did all that, I could just buy the moldings. And I know people were giving me crap about not spending the two grand for the new moldings and just double sided sticking taping them on. Here's the thing, you can't just run down to the corner store and get the moldings. You have to custom order them. It takes months to get them shipped to you from, from Goodwood, England. So, because it, it's not one of those things that is commonly done, you know. So, uh, what I've learned is if you want to paint your Rolls Royce, um, there's a whole bunch of things like that that you're going to have to plan for. You're going to want to have all of your moldings, replacement clips, replacement um gaskets and seals and all of those things available because you you know you got to pull the door panels off to get the mirrors off and the door handles take the grill off pull you have to pull the trunk apart in order to take the tail lights off you have to pull the bumper off and everything to get the headlights out if you're going to do a full color change you're going to want to take your your wheels off take your liners off inner wheel wells you kind of got to take the car co almost completely apart to do a real correct paint job. So the paint job that I had done, uh, you know, as expensive as it was, you, it isn't as expensive as a Rolls Royce factory paint job, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of about $30,000. So I just wanted to comment about that. I mean, you, you guys act like I don't think of these things. I think of them and I explore them, but you have to understand that there's always a lot more to the story. There's a lot going on. So, uh, just trust in Bob. Anyway, we've got some amazing stuff coming up <clears throat> next weekend. Uh, so, coming up about the middle of October, and I'll be posting about this more, I will be visiting Orlando. I'm going to Universal Studios for the Halloween Horror Nights because uh, they have a special Ghostbusters version this year. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters. I have a friend, I have multiple friends who live there in Orlando. I'm hoping to hook up with Tavarish and maybe do a little video with him because me and him have been talking and he wants me to come visit. Uh, and I've got some other friends there that do some amazing things. Uh, my friend Daniel Deutsch, who works with uh, some of the theme parks, and he has some really neat stuff. I'm hoping he'll be in town. We can do some stuff with him. So anyway, uh, so for fans that want to meet me and things like that, I'll try to post where I'm going to be. But in order for you to know that, you'd have to be following our Facebook. So our Facebook is Bob's Prop Shop. And also my fan page, which is Video Bob, which is one word, Mosley. You can also check out my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter. All you got to do is Google Video Bob or Bob's Prop Shop. You'll find all of those. And uh, be a follower if you're a fan. And if you want to meet me, hang out with me, uh, have a burger, do a shot, whatever, uh, we will do that. I love meeting people. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. I want to try to do these a little bit more often. We're going to start a project probably the end of October, beginning of November. That's going to be one of the biggest projects we've ever done. And you're not going to want to miss it. I know that a lot of YouTubers do a lot of clickbait and a lot of promises and things, but just trust me on this. When you see it, you'll, you'll know. All right. Hey, thanks for everybody for hanging out on Video Bob. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.